This is a review of the week six topics. We've got writing and simplifying fractions, converting between fractions, decimals and percentages, writing probability and finding a fraction of an amount. OK, writing, simplifying and ordering fractions. The first question says what fraction of the shape is coloured in red? So how many parts of red out of how many in total? So we've got three red out of eight in total. So if three out of eight are coloured in red, and we call that three eighths. Three eighths of the shape are red. Simplify a question to 16 over 20. So we're trying to get the smallest numbers possible on the top and the bottom of the fraction. To do that, we need to look at what times table 16 and 20 are both in. So the biggest times table they're both in is the four times table. And 16 is four fours, 20 is five fours. So we can say that 16 twentieths is the same as four fifths. And we can't simplify it anymore. So four fifths is our answer. And question three, which is bigger, five ninths or three fifths? To compare the size of two fractions, we can make the bottom numbers the same, the denominators. So to do that, what number is in the nine times table and the five times table? Well, 45. So if we times the top and bottom of five ninths by five and times the top and bottom of three fifths by nine, we will get 25 out of 45 and 27 out of 45. So we've made both of the fractions out of 45. So we can see which one's bigger. If we've got 27 out of 45, that's more than 25 out of 45. So 27 out of 45 is bigger. So three fifths is bigger. Okay, three for you to try, so give them a go. Question one, what fraction of the shape is coloured in red? So there are five bits coloured in red out of eight in total. So we can say that five eighths are red. Question two, simplify 25 over 45. What times table were 25 and 45 both in? They're both in the five times table. So how many fives make 25? That's five. How many fives make 45? That's nine. So 25 over 45 is the same as five ninths. And question three, which is bigger, three quarters or five six? So we need to make the bottom numbers the same to compare them. And 12 is in the four times table and the six times table. So we can times top and bottom of three quarters by three and top and bottom of five six by two. And that will make them both out of 12. So three threes are nine and three fours are 12. So nine twelfths, three quarters is the same as nine twelfths. And five sixths is the same as ten twelfths. So which is bigger? Ten out of twelve is more than nine out of twelve. So five sixths is bigger. Fractions, decimals and percentages. So we've got a table to complete here. So if you want to pause the video and give it a go, you can. Otherwise, just keep watching. We've got a fraction, two fifths, and we're going to change it into a decimal and a percentage. So if we want to make it a percentage, we need to make it out of 100. So what do I have to times five by to get 100? 
I have to times it by 20. So I'm going to times top and bottom by 20. So that gives me 40. Two 20s are 40. Five 20s are 100. So 40 out of 100, which is 40%. Percentage is the same as a fraction out of 100. And the decimal... To change it to a decimal, we can take the percentage, so 40, and divide by 100. So 40 divided by 100 is 0 0.4. The second one, we've got 0 0.25. So as a percentage, it's 0 0.25 times 100, times by 10 once is 2.5, times by 10 twice is 25. So it's 25%, which is a fraction, is 25 out of 100. And we can simplify that by dividing top and bottom by 25, and that's one quarter. For 24%, so divide by 100 to make it a decimal, so 0 0.24, and write it as a fraction write it over 100 to make it a fraction. So we've got 24 over 100. And if we half top and bottom, we've got 12 over 50. Half top and bottom again, 6 25ths. 6 and 25 aren't in the same times table. So that's as simple as it gets. 0 0.65, that's 65%. And it's 65 over 100 and they're both in the five times table so how many fives make 65 that's 13 so 13 over 20 and seven tenths so seven divided by 10 is 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 times 100 it's going to be 70, so 70%. 70 and 9%, 9 divided by 100 is 0 0.09. And as a fraction, it's 9 over 100. 9 and 100 are not in the same times table, so that is as simple as it gets. Writing probability. We've got an example. Here are some number cards. And we've got one, two, three, two fours, two fives, a six and a seven. One card is chosen at random. Write down the probability that the card has a four on it. So how many fours are there? There are two fours. Out of how many in total? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in total. So the probability is two ninths. We can write a probability as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. Question two, write down the probability that the card doesn't have a four on it. So the probability it has a four on it and doesn't have, have a four on it has to add up to one whole, has to add up to one. So if we've got two ninths, how many more to make it? Nine ninths, that would be seven more ninths. So two ninths and seven ninths are all of the possibilities. And question three, write down the probability the card is an eight on it. There are no eights, so it's impossible. There's zero chance. So the answer is zero. Okay, one for you to try, so give this a go. In a box, there are seven red pens, five blue pens, and three black pens. A pen is chosen at random, write down the probability that it's red. So how many red are there? There are seven red. Out of how many in total? Seven and three make ten, plus five is fifteen. So 7 fifteenths that it's red. What's the probability that it's not red? 
So the probability of it being red and not being red has to add up to 1. So we've got 7 fifteenths. How many more to make a hole? That's 8 more fifteenths. We could have added 3 and 5 together as well. Write down the probability that it's green. There are no green pens, so the probability is 0. And finally, finding a fraction of an amount. Question 1, find 3 quarters of 20. So we've got 20 split into quarters, split into 4 parts, 4 equal parts. So how big are each of the parts? So 20 divided by 4 is 5. So each of the parts is worth 5. Each quarter is worth 5. We've got 3 quarters. 3 fives are 15. Find 3 fifths of 35. So we're going to split 35 into fifths. So each fifth is worth seven. We want three of them. Three sevens are 21. And five ninths of 54. We're splitting 54 into nine parts. So each one will be worth six. We want five of them. So that's 30. And three for you to try. So we're splitting 18 into thirds. So 18 divided by 3 is 6. We want two of them. Two sixes are 12. Question 2, 3 sevenths of 28. So 28 is split into 7 parts. So they will all be worth 4. We want 3 of them. 3 fours are 12. And question three, five sixths of 66. So we're splitting 66 into six parts. So each one's worth 11. We want five of them. So five 11s is 55. And that was our review. So there's an assessment now available. The link will be in the description on YouTube or at the bottom of the page on the website.